Well, today we are having, it's a beautiful day, it's May 11th, 2011, and we're having our second annual Foods and Nutrition food event, and this year's theme is Japanese. And so we've invited about 130 high school, local high school kids that are in foods and nutrition classes to come and experience life on Merced College campus. And they're going to travel in groups of 30 to four different classrooms. One classroom is going to be taught by Bob Taniguchi and Kari Yanagi, and it's on the culture of Japan and ties into the foods of Japan. The second station is in the staff dining room with our chef Andrew Calzadias, and he's going to be teaching them tempura, and they're actually going to be making and trying lots of tempura dishes. Another group is our um, Nancy Cottle, our adjunct foods instructor in nutrition, and she's going to be teaching a nutrition lesson on the spinning, equivalent to our food guide pyramid, it's the, sp the Japanese spinning top. And then the fourth station is our own Brian Tassie horticulture department, teaching them about all the herbs and vegetables that are grown in Japan and here, and they'll be trying these great foods at lunchtime. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah? You have some great recipes you're going to get to try today. We put the recipes here for you to taste. You're going to go to plant science to learn some cool things about Asian plants, and you'll get to actually plant something to take home today. Yeah. So tell me what you guys are doing. We're putting on gloves. Exactly. <laughs> tempura. For? Tempura. Well, you want to make sure that it covers so when you put your um, vegetables in it, it, you know how it's floating? Uh -huh. yeah. Be careful, it's really hot. No. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> what do you have there? Um, Tell me what your favorite vegetable is in Tampa. Onions. Onions. Pretty good. This is it's bomb. Can you tell me what it is? Uh, uh, it's called tempura. Yeah, tempura. It's, it's like broccoli and shrimp and onions dipped in some sort of batter. And I think carrots or sweet potatoes. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I'm a dietitian in the community. I work with people with kidney failure and with diabetes, so I, I get to do a variety of things. But mostly I enjoy te teaching device, which they which they call a spinning top. Versus Here's a product. It's it's very translucent, as you see. They, some of them are made all is very common and you can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a rock. I have little Japanese sweet potatoes. And of course, ginger because. Brian Tassi on the landscape horticulture and green requirements for seed germination. So kind of our topic today is how do you get the fruits and veggies to begin with? You could go to the store or you could go on yourself. Anybody have any guesses what you need in order to germinate? That's one of the three. You need to see. What else? Water. Soil. And every time you turn on the uh, do your laundry or dryer, it's going to increase soil temperature. The three different kinds right there, tricolor, purple, and golden. Okay, lots of cool plants. We've probably got uh, 30 different types of fruit out here. Some pomegranates, uh, plums, peaches, nectarines, all that kind of good Everybody's going to get one of these. Okay, we've got soil on the top.
the different foods, seeing the different like vegetables and everything in the garden. That was pretty cool. We said high school, and what was the best part of today? To learn about the Japanese food style and some of their histories. What was the best part of today? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> so it's like trying out different food, learning how to do you know, different things other than American. Looking for work, like. Like who is Or the race here. Now, if I drop this, you know, I have no place where I can wash, right? 